the book of life was written but who are you kidding it was rewritten to control the minds with precision this cold-blooded for a spitting on your throat you were sitting your plan is to lower us with religion Trump, bush and clinton all had the same intentions nothing changed the modern days kings you got to mention your perversion and segregation causes chaos and tension all life matters that's the part that you're forgetting revealing what's hitting your trickery and lies exposed get written your trickery and lies exposed get written no more manipulation no more bondage freedom at its best no more weakness wake up come on and wake up no more manipulation no more bondage freedom at its best no more weakness wake up come on and wake up Wake up, wake up, read all about it. The truth is being revealed, and I'm so glad about it. The Bible say be fruitful and multiply. That's in every part of our lives. No more enslaved in the mind. Ignorance shall die. Look at your neighbor, where does her fruit lie? She's in the hundred dollar offering lot. Manipulated for her bills, then she go home and cry. Ooh, stop it. Time to rise, open your eyes, exposing the enterprise who hides behind the mask of hidden lies. It's written wise, decision of missing tribes, documents of missing times when we realize this is our land, the tribe of Judah is still alive. Hello. No more manipulation, no more bondage. Freedom at its best, no more weakness. Wake up. Come on and wake up. No more manipulation, no more bondage. Freedom at its best, no more weakness. Wake up. Come on and wake up. No more religion, no tradition. With God's permission, I am free. Yeah. Yeah. No more religion, no tradition. With God's permission, I am free. Yeah. No more bondage, freedom at its best, no more weakness, wake up, come on and wake up, no more manipulation, no more bondage, freedom at its best, no more weakness, wake up, come on and wake up. Hello, 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 everyone. It's your girl, Yasmin Denise, coming to you with another episode of True Serum. <clears throat> it's been a minute. I'm so happy to see you guys. For a second, if you could go ahead and like and share this video and go ahead and tag some people. This episode is going to be man versus women. Now, I know, and you know, generally, usually, let me say it like that. When I have questions that come in, it be either me and Regina from Surviving of Broken Pieces or me and Don Lisa or me and some other female, we come on and do my sister's keeper. But when I had, you know, got a couple of um, questions and responses from different viewers and they was like, we need a man's point of view. So in hindsight of that, I, I'm, we're doing men versus women on today. You have none other than Mrs. Mr. Travis, Travis Henry, excuse me, that's sitting right here to my left, probably your right, but my left. And on today, we're going to answer, we have three questions and we're going to answer those three questions on today. And we're going to get this cracking. But for the first couple of seconds, if you can like tag and share your people, I know it's been a minute and I haven't been up here. And usually I'm not up here on Sunday. It's usually Saturday. But while we're waiting on that. I have a couple of announcements. Um, don't forget you guys, every third Sunday of the month, we go, go out and serve the community. So if you would like to go ahead and donate, you can. There are the information up there. The cash app is dollar sign Yasmin Campbell. Zell is Yasmin Denise at gmail.com. The flyer will be posted so you can go ahead, look at the flyer. And if you would like to donate to help us serve the community, you can. Also coming up, we have a couple of things coming up. Um, the launch of um, 
the outreach. The outreach name is Reject Outreach Foundation. So we have the launches that coming up as well. I am so excited about that. That will be held in Virginia, Chesapeake, Virginia, to be exact. The um, location and everything else will be put out. Invites will be um, given out. We have great speakers. We have musicians. We have artists. And we're going to come together. We're going to celebrate this launch. We're going to celebrate serving the community. And we're going to celebrate each other and just enjoying um, each other's time. Now, again, like I said, today is men versus women. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. I'm going to read off the first question. But hold on, Travis, do you have anything you would like to say? No, ma'am. Would you like to say hello? <laughs> would you like to say hello to the people, Travis? What's going on, everybody? Uh, happy Sunday afternoon, I guess. I don't know. Uh, hey. Afternoon? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, evening. Evening, afternoon. <laughs> hey, evening is still afternoon, is it not? I, I guess. Are you trying to start this already? <laughs> No, I am not. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm sorry. I'm looking down. I'm trying to tag a couple of people that I told them I would tag them. But, you know, I was starting a show, so I didn't have that time. Okay, so if they're not tagged, if you guys would like to tag someone, you can. Okay, the first thing, the first one, let's go with the first question. Um, now, these are... Hey, Eartha, um, these are um, questions that were sent in the inbox, okay? They didn't. They do have names on it, but I'm not going to put anyone's name out there. Um, we're going to have the question. I'm going to do the question, and then we're going to get uh, me and Travis' point of view on the question. If you guys have something that you would like to say that can help the people. Hey, Miss Susan. Say hi to Susan. Hi, She's Ms. a follower. Susan. Hi, Miss Susan. Yo, y'all, Travis have we got it? We got help, Travis. He, hi, Miss Susan. But anyway, we're gonna give. The, I'm gonna give the question, and then you know, there's three questions, and then we're gonna get me and Travis. Um, hey, Earth, them potatoes was good, girl. Me and Travis, um, response to it, and then if you guys have response that you would like to um give, you can. Okay, so the first one goes like this. That looks like a lot. What do you mean it looks like a lot? <laughs> See, this is a man screen. versus woman thing right here. Someone Jesus. sends in a question, right? Travis, look at the question because it's sent in. It looks like a lot. And I'm not going to say it's not a lot, but they really don't want to answer it or deal with it because it's a lot. So say it again. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is I can tell that's a woman's question and not a man's question. Oh my gosh, wait, before we get to the question, y'all hear this? It's the men's world. Oh my God, now we got Abu up here, Brad talking crazy. Come on, Brad. How can you say that this is a woman's question and not a man's question because of by the length of it? Women are extra detailed and y'all put a lot of extra stuff in there that doesn't need to be in there. Men like to get straight to the point. Okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. If it is a man, we I have three questions and one of them is a male. I didn't say one of them was. I said this one right here that we looking at. Okay, and the other one might be even longer. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to see. see Y'all going to be the judge. We're going to see. Now. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Before you do that, am I not right about this being a woman's question? It is a woman's question, right, but for the all. fact that's that you can say that it's a woman's question because it's a long question. But you it might not be a that I was correct, though, right? I'm not denying that you're not you're not correct that I because correct it's, that you're correct that it, yes, it is a woman's question. Then I'm correct. Okay, whatever. So I don't know exactly. <laughs> the, the, this is what she say. Whatever, Brad. Talk about some that's all. You want to do that? Okay, yeah. so here it is. I don't know exactly how to talk about this. My stepson has a crush on me. It sounds weird saying this out loud. When I started talking to his father, he was a sweet kid and I treated him the same way I treat my other kids. Right. I love all my kids the same. Mm. The sweet gestures were cute when he was younger, but now he's an adult and he acts like my man instead of my son. I know how it sounds. It sounds like a young man that loves his mother, but I draw the line when he say he can be a better man for me and he will show it. Whoa. The gifts started coming in and I set him down and we talked about boundaries. He has a girlfriend, 
Mm-hmm. And they're in a good relationship, but all she talks, all she said he talks about is me and how good of a woman that I am. I tried tough love and being honest and I and letting him know that I don't feel the same. I love him as a son and that's it. How do I get him to understand and not damage the mother and son relationship? Go ahead, Travis. <laughs> what you ask me for? Come. I'm not a stepmother. I, I understand, but from a man's point of come, from a you, man's point oh of my view. Gosh, all yes. Right. All right, listen, don't get mad at the answer. I get I'm not. You're giving your point of view. I'm giving mine. All right, and I'm going to answer from a man's point of view. <sighs> Y'all help me. So she's saying um, she's a stepmother, right? Mm-hmm. And all he talks about is how good of a woman she is to his girlfriend, right? Yeah, when him and his girlfriend is talking, he's telling right. the girl, oh, yeah, she's a good woman. She's right. this, she's that. Yes. Right, right. Could it be that maybe he, he's saying that to the girlfriend because he wants to emulate that with his girlfriend? He wants mm. his girlfriend to emulate what his stepmother is. That can be possible. Can we get to the fact of who his real mother is and where she's at? Well, she she didn't say anything about the I, real mother. I understand that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, if she feels... All right. There's okay. a lot to uncover with this from what I'm seeing. I'm just one person, one human being. But all I'm saying is this. If you're, if he's looking at you in such high regards, now, I, I correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't hear her say anything about him coming on to her or trying to say, hey, I want to be with you in this type of way. She just said, he said, no. I will be a better man. Hold oh, on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can I can be a better man for you. Not that I can be a better man for you than my dad. Uh, Unless you left that out, but all I heard was I can be a better man for you, and he gives her gifts. Hold on, I'm reading her thing again. No, get in the mic and say that. I said, hold on, I'm rereading to right. make sure. Okay. He does not want to set boundaries. And I need to, and and this is it's kind of hard to uncover this because it depends on how old this boy is now. You well, evidently he was a kid, and mm-hmm. then he grew up. I feel like there's something missing oh, that's because that's she's saying. Yeah, she raised him as a kid. He's mm-hmm. her stepson. Right. You know, um, he started, um, we she say, uh, he got sweet justice. It was cute when he was younger, but now he's an adult. Uh-huh. Um, he acts like her man instead of her son. In that what part. type of way? Like we oh, how did she does she's not saying I understand. Listen, okay, hold on, because a person is what's watching, so she's giving me information. Okay. Well, so she you, said he's now 23 and his real mother left him. Okay. All okay. Right. That says and, a lot. Okay, so we got that. He's mm-hmm. 23, his real mom left. Um she's been with him evidently since he was a kid when she got with his dad mm-hmm. um the sweet gestures was cute when he was younger but now he's older and he's acting part. like her man and what type of way if she don't up- say what type of way All in right. the letter so maybe she's she up here so um ma'am can you please hit her in and let us know what type of way he's acting like he's your man please hit the message in inbox or however you get the messages to her and let us know so we can uh, try to help you with this or try to figure out what this is because I need to know what type of way is he acting like he's your man? Is it as far as being a protector? She doesn't say, she said, hold on. Okay. So, uh-huh. and also, wait, they had to talk about boundaries and he said he don't want boundaries between them. Okay. So, me, because of how, tell her husband to have a talk with him. So Susan Morgan said, tell her husband to have a talk. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, okay, like, if, 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 if you're, you're, if it's that bad, or if you, you're feeling that, that way about it, have you had a conversation with his father about it? Like, that's my, my, true. my thing is this, I understand you're feeling some type of way you had a conversation with him, but have you uh, had a conversation with who seed that actually is? Mm, that's good. And Has ask she his father, to the father and, and ask the father what he thinks of it. That's why true. is he thinking this is okay if she has had a conversation with him? Okay. Obviously, it's something there that needs to be unpacked or uncovered. Why? But go ahead. Go ahead. She has not had a talk with the father, so that's a question. Why haven't you bring the father? And see, that's why this is tricky because now it's starting to look like something that it, it and it might not be that. But it's something that's not, it's starting to look funny. 
agree he needs to say something. Yes. So listen to this. She keep talking to the son, right? right. But she hasn't talked to the father. Right. If it's bothering you this much, he's telling you he don't want no boundaries with you, meaning he's telling you, look, I'm a better man for you. I'm going to be that man whether you like it or not, because that's what it's saying, whether we want to say it nicely or unnice. You understand? I'm going to be your man. Yeah. This is what I want. I don't want no boundaries. I don't want no mother and son relationship. Oh, he he's, he's not, he's uh, hold on. Hold on. In the context of the way she's saying it, until mm -hmm. everything she's sends me everything. Mm -hmm. If this was an issue with me, mm -hmm. I'm going to the father. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I've talked to the son, our son a couple of times. He still won't stop. He's making passes at me. He don't want boundaries. She needs to say something to the father. She hasn't said anything to the father. All right. So in hot, hold on. It's making me, this is just me. Me look at it like, well, nigga, I mean, <laughs> well, chick, why you ain't say nothing to the father? What are you hiding? Because if this bothered you that bad, you would have been said something to the father. That this boy is trying to be a man. He's giving you gifts. He don't want no boundaries. That's a big thing right there. I had to talk with him. I love all my children the same. I told him we these are the boundaries of a mother and son. And he said he doesn't want those. All right, you're talking in circles because you already said that. So oh, I'm just stressing up? the point. We heard the point. Okay, you don't got to be nasty, all right? You a guest nasty. on True Serum. Act accordingly. Now, go ahead, sir. First of all, <laughs> if you if, if 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 you want to have a conversation, we can have a God, conversation. just come on, Travis. All right, so Jesus is a lot. All right, so um, like you like we already pointed out, we're missing a lot of context clues to this situation. Um, one, we need to deal with the issue of what happened with his mother. Yes, she left. Why did she leave? Number two, why you haven't had a conversation with the father yet? That's major right there. Number three, him saying, I, I can be a better man. For, I, I'm going to be a better man for you. We all know there's nothing he can do with that. She's he she's married to your dad. That's your stepmother. Unless you plan on fighting your father. Not saying it doesn't happen. Not saying it won't happen. Doesn't say it doesn't happen in this world. Crazy stuff has happened. It is true. Um, but um, it's just I feel like it's just all this could have been nipped in the bud a long time ago when you first started feeling it because this isn't just happen mm -hmm. overnight. This has been a thing that's been happening over time that you've been feeling this way or been feeling like something or whatever it may be um, <clears throat> that you're reading into that makes you feel like you think that he is in love with you in that type of way. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you feel like you're seeing signs of that. So, But it's been happening over time and you never had a conversation with the father. Why not? Okay, so now we're getting more information. Okay. She said she's no longer with the father anymore. Oh, her and the father is not together well, no more, but he's still pursuing go. her. And him and the father is not talking, haven't talked in years because of, an, because of an argument. She doesn't know what the argument was about. Yo ass. And she not, sh she not sure what happened. The argument them. was about yo ass. But. Sorry, I, I don't mean it be rude but it was about you more than likely it was about you hey, okay so now now okay now i get it i get it okay <sighs> hey ebony you and the father broke up hey ebony I, um hey ebony uh you and the father broke up mm. okay so that plays a part in but still you can still talk to the father to let him know his son is trying to pursue you in that type of way if you felt that way and here's the thing has this been going on while y'all were together still or what did it just start happening? oh wait this is deeper all right him and the son the son and the father got in an argument because the father tried to talk to the girl the girlfriend of the sons this is a mess this is a lot i'm oh, sorry lady okay. i'm not calling so, you a mess or your life but this oh, is no, a mess no, it's, situation it's life it's real all right so pretty much there's some get back type ish right here this is some get back. Okay. So you so pops, you trying to holler at my girl. Mm -hmm. All right. So they had an argument about that. So now he's coming on to you saying he'll be a better man to you. And okay. So 
This is Obviously, crazy. to him, he feels like you are a good woman, which is not a bad thing, right? You showed him something that he didn't have. Here we go. All right. So you, you showed him something growing up that he didn't have from his biological mother because she's not there, right? Facts. And we all know the terms, mama's boys, daddy's girls. Um hate to say it, but he looks at you as his mother. You say you raised him since he was a kid. Um, now, at the on the flip side of that, he knows you're not his biological mother. Mm-hmm. And the fact that his dad probably was doing some foul crap and he knew about it on you, and he looked at you with high regards, he probably did get infatuated with you, more than likely, uh, or, or is in love with you because he feels like you don't deserve that, right? <laughs> so I said, tell him to go to Jerry Springer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, he, he more than likely he did. You know, he felt like you. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to work both behind the scenes and oh, it's getting spicy with the plot thing. Yeah, man. Um, so more than likely, yeah, he he's looking at it as you were a good woman in his life. Uh, something that came along. He saw the junk and crap that his dad was doing to you behind the back and he probably seen it and then for him to go and uh for him to go and then try to holler at his girlfriend and it makes sense of why he's pursuing it the way he's doing or how he's carrying it with you and telling you i can be a better man and all of that stuff for you and i don't want no boundaries and the reason being is because you're really not his mother and the way his father carried it he feels like hey you're a good woman i need a woman like you I know what you can bring to the table, or if that's even a I've, wrong word, bad choice of words. I know the value that you have, right? And I, I've, I grew up in the house with you, so I know how you keep your home. I know what type of woman you are, and you're the type of woman that I'm looking mm. forward to. So now it's like, okay, I got a girlfriend, but I'm always talking to her about you. <laughs> Because he's probably saying to the girlfriend, why can't you be more like her? You yeah, know, she does this. You know, she does that. She does this. Go ahead. I, I know. you. OK, got a yes, stuff because I'm getting me. more information. OK, so the plot does does thicken and is it really it's getting spicy because, OK, oh, so this Lord is the Jesus. situation. Oh, there was a, a the woman got with the father and the boy was young. Mm hmm. He grew up. She was the mother figure. The, his birth, his um, biological mother wasn't in his life. Right. His father then tried to talk to his now girlfriend. Right. Then the father and the stepmother broke up. Uh-huh. The son wants the stepmother. He's in love with her. He won't. He don't want to do any boundaries. Um, he asked her out. He's asking her out on date. They <laughs> said, know, "What Brad, she look what like?" You look like right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, she's being he acts out on dates, he always bringing her gifts, and he runs her other boyfriends and potential boyfriends away. So exactly. I well, I don't think for the son, because I think the son probably really wants her. And it was a time, you know, when you have a stepchild and if they're close in age, you know, some people are cougars and what they call the male cougars, sugar daddies or whatever. So they get a younger person and they taking care of your kids or whatever the case might be. He probably felt like, look, she, tw- I'm 23. She's 35, probably 40. We closer than her. My father was, you know, she stroked my back. She rubbed my back. She took care of me. She loved me. And I watched my father do her dirty. So I think I can handle her now. Me, me personally, me personally, I would not look at my stepson or stepdaughter in that way, even after we broke up, because that's just <laughs> wrong. Better watch the son. What did it say? Better watch the son. He gonna, gonna knock some, some dudes, dudes off, off for that, that cat. cat. Oh, <laughs> yes, he is running them away. So, and all what I'm gonna say to you is this: um, you know, counseling is not gonna work. He's already mentally in a relationship with you. I don't know what was done to make him feel that way or or if anything was done to make him feel that way. So if he's running people off, number one, you need to see who you who's trying to hook up with you, because if a 23 year old is running. them Well, some people ain't going to want to deal with the drama. 
So they exactly. Get, so they just gonna walk away. I wouldn't want to deal with all of that either. I got time for that. Yeah. So I would just, you know, about to go to jail, knocking some little nigga out. Nobody got time for that. I think what you should do Over is some cat that ain't even theirs yet. Yeah, ain't right. Like, Maybe he needs counseling. <laughs> Maybe he needs counseling or something. But somehow, some way, you're going to have to get it through his skull. Like, look, this is not going to happen. I don't want to be with you. If I ever misled you to make you think that way, you know what I'm saying? I apologize. But, you know, I look at you as a son and nothing more. Do you have any, do y'all have anything to, you know, any type of, um, advice to give to this young lady and travis do you have any advice for the yeah young lady? i got advice it's called restraining order because this nigga real crazy i agree mm. so <laughs> so restraining yeah order. I, I say restraining order uh listen we living in 2022 people are doing some crazy ish out here man and if it's mm. if it's that if it's like that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Run, <laughs> yeah, run. Because if it's like that, he running off other men and buying you gifts. I bet you ain't mad about the gifts though. But we ain't gonna get into that. Um, yeah, are you accepting the gifts? Of course. If you accepting the gift, now you're giving him mixed signals. He was having wet dreams of. <laughs> They are going. I know that's hard, right. right? <laughs> that's facts, though. Okay, so are you accepting the gifts? We're not yeah. going to spend too much time on this question because we I have two other questions. Are. I think if you you agree that if she accepting the gifts, is giving mixed signals. I agree that she's accepting the damn gifts. Well, she just gave us a little bit more. We just got a little bit more information, and the thing is this. Let's keep it 100. If you are accepting the gifts, then you're giving him mixed signals. Then you're going through what you're going through because you put yourself in that predicament. Everybody going to accept the gift. Man. If you're not, it's not if you saying that this person yeah, is trying pandemic. to get you in. It's, it's a pandemic. A pandemic. To make it. A what? <laughs> a pandemic. People say, hey, I wish somebody would send me a gift right goddamn now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said she yeah, took sorry. the gifts from him when he was younger. Okay. But since he's grown, she don't take the gifts. She gives it back. Well, what type of gifts is he trying to give since he's older now? What type of gifts? Yeah, are they monetary? Are they like he just buying her flowers and candies, teddy bears? Can like, you tell us what type of gifts? Some, are they like, monetary gifts? Or is he candy? just trying to drop off some D? Well, she can't give that back. I mean, that's different. Come on now. Of I, course, I he's trying to give her the D, but that's different. No, I'm, I'm not, what I'm saying. All right, let me, let me let me let me explain this to you. So, all right, to her, it may seem like it's an infatuation. Mm -hmm. it could be just he just want to knock the draws off and then once he knocked the draws off he's not infatuated no more he's going to go on about his business that could be the case he so, just may have just been wanting to knock you off since he was a kid so like ebony said yeah he's been having yeah, wet dreams about been like, yo hey <laughs> she bad bro i don't even know why i see my daddy messing her over there my dad trying to holler at my girl oh you know what i'm gonna get her I'm going to knock her down, and then I'm going to keep it moving. But, you know, at the same time, I understand. If he was a kid, you know, but if you ain't read something in the, you know, the gifts now, that's true. That's cool. What she said, the gifts are flowers, candies, beers, teddy bears, Aww, jewelry, so he, yeah. clothes, shoes. Damn. What on. type of shoes? <laughs> What's her size? <laughs> What type of jewelry? What type of jewelry is he yeah, giving? You? Yeah. Well, she says she's not accepting it. Yeah, yeah, she's she, giving it back. He's spending that PPP money. Don't do that. You don't know if this man has a job or what. Just because he's 23 don't mean he's not I'm joking. Situated. I'm joking. This is a pandemic. Okay, okay, so listen. Pandemic or not. If you accept the gifts, which you said you haven't, but if you have and you just don't want to tell us. I don't think she. I mean, if you she's put yourself like in a predicament. Not, yeah. If you have it, then you need a restraining order. Because Take the gifts. Sure. No. Take the gifts, get a restraining order. Now no, don't, don't do that. Just, don't listen just, to trap. Don't listen to me, man. I'm just. I'm just no. Don't I take the gifts because that. when he go to court, he could say, I gave her this, this, she took it. That makes it look like you're a willing participant. And I can help you out with that. What you say is I received it out of fear of it for my life because I felt like if I didn't take it, he would do something crazy. This boy is crazy. I got your back on that one. That's a way to get around that in court if you wanted to. Well, she shouldn't. No, because that's wrong. She shouldn't take the gifts. I know, but I'm just saying if she did, if she did, I'm just trying to help sis out if she did. 
Don't help sis out this like that. If she did. I'm not saying she did. I'm saying if she did, sis. Yeah. Yo, if you did crazy. take it, if we just hypothetically, hypothetically, okay. if you did take it, this is how you get around it. Say this this Negro's crazy. He's been running off all my boyfriends and I'm scared. So I need a restraining order and I only took the gifts because I felt like I didn't know what he would do if I did not. Congratulations. There you go. You got around it. Well, all righty then. So now we're going to the second question. I need a drink. The I se- should have got my. Would you like for me to do the commercial while you go? Nah, do, it's you cool. Gotta, okay. no, I'll get it out this. <laughs> okay, so the second Crown one. Crown of Coke. That? That's the second question. Is that the man or the woman? This is the man right here. Oh, so so guys, women, tag your men. Tag nah, don't so tag. we can. Get, I need to have some. We need to get this together. Nope. What's up, Brad? Don't, don't cause no Travis argument in your is household. a lawyer too. <laughs> Dag on right, player. Get you off. <laughs> get you off quick. She said, "I need one, Susan, a drink too." Oh, yeah, okay, right, you guys. This is the second question. Let's get it. It says, hey, just call me concerned brother. Come on, brother. Ooh. I am 41 years old, single man, no kids, great job. Young oh, man. I'm sorry. Young I man. mean, career. Young man. Okay. Hold on. They can't hear if you do that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean. I'm I sticking mean, up for my brothers. I'm just saying. He's he okay. a young man. Let, 41 let, years young. Don't say old, young. This is what he wrote. I know, but I need you. I'm okay. saying it for my Hold brother. on. Let me get the question out. And yeah. I'm saying exactly how they wrote it. Uh-huh. I am 41 year old, single man, no kids, great job. Mm-hmm, excuse me. I mean, career. I'm single oh, because. You it, nigga. Wait, let me finish. <laughs> I'm single because y'all women are aggressive and selfish. Oh, Don't forget, that. spoiled. You want to act like a man and control a man, Ooh. but then you want me to understand your emotions when you throw a tantrum. Uh. So are you an alpha speed? This Negro is flipped his nah, head. This nigga, oh, like, nah, yeah. read it. Read it. I need the head. Come on. I'm so are head you head an head. alpha female, as you say, or a sport brat? Ooh. Y'all give us a bad name because we won't deal with your over aggressiveness due to, due to the man or men who came before us. Mm. What do y'all want for real, for real? Single black man giving up. Come on, brother. Come on. I wish I had the board, the press, the claps and everything. Listen, nah, you ain't got to do it because you don't know what button it is. I can't I can't tell you because I got to go through the... Nah, that's some whimsical stuff. Stop. Stop. You about to do a whole bunch of different drinks. Come on. All right, so um, this is going to be fun right here. Are you going to do the crickets on me, though? Because it's a man's question. Okay, so y'all heard the question. I need somebody to uh, tag Authoress Joelle in here so she can get in on this because I know no lies detected. Yeah, oh, Lord on, Jesus. Hey, hey, man um, is here in the building. Do I need to <laughs> no, read the question one more time? No, you don't. Not yet. Hold on. Let me, let's, let me get this off. From... Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let, me get, let me get my man's up here. What, what y'all, y'all want, want from, from a nigga? nigga. Yeah. You is stupid. Okay, that's go real. ahead. That's real. No, she here. She said, I'm here. Okay. All right. So um, yeah, this, this is interesting. So it started off very well at first. And I was like, boy, all right, young, strong black uh, <clears throat> career. I was like, okay, can see it a little bit, but got you. I understand. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I can tell right now he watches a lot of YouTube. And I can tell what he type of Kevin channels. Sam, you uh, speak. Hey, hey, and don't don't knock my man Kevin Sam. I'm not knocking. He, him. he speaks some truth. It's just his delivery is so y'all say, but you know, oh, Lord, y'all delivery could be just as raw. But uh, what I'm gonna say here is this, young man, young, and I call you a young man because you are a young man. You're 41 years old, brother. We all in that fight with you, brother. Every black man, every man oh my every, God. is right here in that fight with you. It is a battle, brother. It is a battle. It is a battle that we got to keep fighting. Don't give up on our sisters, brother. Don't give up on a woman because you don't want to go swing for the other side. That ain't you. Obviously, it ain't you. That ain't what you want. That Thank you. Thank for. you, Demonica. What'd she say? She said, I'm going to need him to stop putting all women in the same boat. Well, first of all. Well, uh, well, that's hold on, first wait, of all. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold your horses. Pump your brakes. Take them heels off. Let me put, put some sneakers on because you're about to run. Let me tell you something. Oh, God. Ain't nobody putting all the women in the same boat. That's number one. Number two. 
Hold on. Let me finish because we we gonna run this one. This is gonna be a nice one right here. So he he never said all the women. He said he's giving up because everyone that he ran into. No, so that's far, not what he said. Oh my god. Okay, go ahead. What his, exact, say, his exact words what was. Say, <laughs> Don't do that. What did he say? His exact. I'm just trying to hear what he said. Hold on, homeboy. His exact words was, "Y'all women are aggressive." Well, he must know you, because you are aggressive. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. That's where you should have hit the crickets, right? Hey, First of all, uh he said, y'all women are aggressive and selfish so and don't forget spoil. That's what he said. Okay, so she so is right. He put right. all of us oh, in one thing. Oh, Ty. Oh, Ty. Okay, we got you. All right. So, all right. So. Let's be let's be true for here. Yes. Let's keep it 100. Yes. Some of what he said is true. Yes. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure I'm not we, saying we being 100 here. I'm no no, I'm just making sure we being 100. Come on, here. Regina. Thank you for coming in here. You and oh, y'all. Thank you. You terrible. No, I ain't. I am truthful. Let's keep it 100 here. He is telling some truth into that. It is some truth to that. If we can just admit that if y'all women can admit that that it is some truth to what he's saying. Exactly, it All is. Right, as long as we can admit that. Now, um, let's now. What part is not true to 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 y'all that you feel isn't true? He might need to check him. Come on, you got to put these up while they good. Okay, they having a conversation with you. Com oh yeah, this man it. versus wait. What what did uh chirp chirp. Oh, Brad, I see you. Church, you church, showing you out. Brad. He's showing <laughs> out. Bye, he, he might, might need, need to check, check himself and see what type of woman he's trying to get. get. Come the, on, D. That's it on the um, rest. Uh, get Travis. No, no. She ain't talking about me. She's talking about the nigga. She the answering door. with you. She's battling with you. Tell him, Demonica. Okay. Like, hold on, back. hold on, hold on. All right. Hold on. Don't make me mute your mic yeah, now. Let on. me talk. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. So, first of all, <laughs> Brad, I can't believe him. Whatever type of woman he's looking for, that's the type of woman he's looking for. He keep running across the wrong one. Now, what he's looking for, I don't know what he's looking for, but all I can say is this. Mm. He has a type, and that type is the type that he keeps running across that he needs to change. Facts. So, if you keep... And, and here's the thing, man. Go ahead, bro. Men, we do... we Because society has pushed it so much that we had to be part of it too and we understand that nobody's saying not, nothing wrong with it but it got to a point that reality just went out the window right mm -hmm. when we all say we want a strong black woman oh right? you're right? trying to be right? deep or i'm not trying to be deep i'm just keeping it to 100 true so we all want a strong black woman we want a woman who who's loving and caring and all of that right mm -hmm. but here's the thing there's a difference between being a strong black woman and being a masculine black woman facts as in the terms of my man kevin samuels <laughs> put your dick up ladies oh lord look sometimes at you sometimes you gotta put your dick up because no no because sometimes let's be real sometimes y'all like to let your balls hang on us on on men when well, it comes hold on, to certain hold on, things hold on. let me finish hold on we having a conversation we, we are but you show. sitting here saying women said, keep putting your balls up and women this and women that no. but a woman wouldn't be able to do that if y'all's was already go. hanging go. you gotta go. he's attracting to the, the females that's aggressive because he's he has avoided him so if he's gonna let a woman go ahead and take control over him of course she's gonna do it just like if a hold woman on, hold on. let hold on Go ahead. If a woman let a man take control of her, he's going to do it. So he's bumping into one. Maybe, yes, he has a career, but he's looking for his mother, who was the strong, black, independent woman who didn't have a man in the household, who took care of everything. So that's what he bumping into. But what he better remember is that the 2022 strong black woman is not the 1945 strong black woman. So there's a difference. So he's still missing and there's still a void that he's trying to fill. But now he's complaining about it. You can't go after the alpha female because you don't want to pay because see hold on some of y'all men don't want to pay all the bills y'all want a chick to go half and half but that comes with something so you're not gonna have somebody barefoot and pregnant you're gonna have somebody out there working you're gonna have somebody who want to make decisions too you're gonna have somebody who wants to go 50 50 you ain't gonna get that sit down quiet and don't do nothing 
And just like she got baggage, you got baggage too. Go ahead. I'm being quiet. I'm submissive. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, because you you just put your foot in your own mouth. I didn't. I just no, hey, I didn't. Hey, hold up, pump your brakes. I'm not him. You need to calm down. Let, let Thank me talk. you, Regina. All right, now listen. Here's the thing. You just said you said a, a whole mouthful of nothing to me, right there. Don't be I disrespectful. Said to me, I said to me, Don't be disrespectful. Nobody disrespectful. I said to me, you said a whole mouthful. Of How nothing was that nothing? Because, that was facts. No, no, no. That that was your facts to you. Of that what, was facts of in how, general. No, no, let me finish. That was facts of how you but perceived it. No, 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 no. Nothing, that is facts nothing. of how you perceived it. Because do you, here's, here's the thing: you said he wants that, but if he wanted that, and if he was yielding to that, he would not have a problem. He would not have a problem because if that was what he wanted, he would yield to that, and that would be what it was. He would be okay with that, but that's not what he wants. Well, he, he doesn't want. No, no, no. It. Let me finish. That's not what he wants. Mm -hmm. That's not what he's looking for. And that's why he has the problem that he's having. That's why he's tired of dealing with this crap. That's why. Because, oh, oh, oh don't, don't you, oh, nothing. Hold your breath. <laughs> don't breathe for the next two minutes real quick. Let me talk. You're not going to so, kill me. Here's the thing, yo. He, he is, he's a man who has a career. He's 41 years old. He said, no kids, right? No kids. Mm -hmm. Everything of his own. And he's looking to force someone to be on the same, probably someone, they only got to be on the, that's the, that's the crazy thing about it, yo. Men don't even need a woman that's on the same level as them when it comes down to that type of stuff. But who do? What? But who do? I don't know. Women do. Not all women, women, women. Not all women are like oh, that. Here we go. Here Cause we, we go. can see potential. I didn't f potential. It ain't we about no. Oh, wait a f minute. Here's 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 what y'all get it wrong at every time. Oh, y'all always talking about some effing potential. We don't give a damn about your potential. Y'all are the only ones who worry about potential. No, you said. No, 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 let okay, me finish. Let no. me. I'm answering what you asked me. I didn't ask you anything. That's the whole thing. You did. You said, don't you? No, I didn't That's say a question. That you. I said who? I said who? Who? who You're asking me who are the ones? And it was a simple. Woman and I said or who? Man. I don't know. And I said women. Are. And I disagreed because all women don't do that. Okay, so if you can disagree, we can we can disagree, can disagree, disagree, disagree. Totally agree, agree, disagree. Whatever. What I'm saying is this, yo. Y'all are the ones who worry about potential in a man. Well, I can work with the potential. I can do this. I can do that. And then when it don't work out for y'all, then it's, oh, this man, I did all of this for this man. I did all of that for this man. I did this. I did that. Cool beans. Now y'all hurt. Y'all butt hurt about it, right? And then you find a man who has all his ish together, but because he has all his ish together, he's demanding, oh, he's totally different. He's not going to mm -hmm. be one who's going to be laying down and just taking your shit. He's not. He's not going to be that dude who want to hear all that effing lip from y'all. He's not. He's not going to be that dude. So then when y'all, no, no, no. Because when y'all get with them, then y'all got a problem. Oh, he trying to run me. He trying to do that. He trying to do that. How you sit here and tell me that, okay, this ain't 1940 something. These new 2020 women, this is what you said. Do you, if they are, a lot of y'all men don't want to take 100% of the bills. Y'all want to do 50-50. They don't. 50, hold, hush, man. Let me finish. Y'all don't want to take 100% of the bill. Y'all want to do this 50-50. And what comes with that is a woman who want to do her own thing. Well, then if we tell you to shut up, we pay all the bills. Are you still going to be submissive? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If we ask you to be quiet, right? If we pay all the bills, do we have the right to tell you to be quiet? Do we have the right to tell you since, since if, if, if it's 50-50 is what's going to make the, the issue, if that's the issue. if No, no, let me finish. If 50-50 is what gives you the goal or, or the authority, right, to feel the way that you feel, to come off the way that you feel, to say, well, you ain't, if I got to do this, I, I got to avoid, okay, cool. All right, then I'm going to pay 100%. And what I say goes. That's not what I said. Hold on. Now, let me say this. It just really depends. What I said was a lot of times men want 50 50 relationships with women. You, it's rare that you find a man who uh, uh, just say, I'm going to pay all the bills. You stay home like back in the day. You be a foot and pregnant. I'm going to go work. This is how it's done. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's rare now. Not just in men and couples, period. 
So when you're going 50 50 on something, you can't expect one to, y'all, you know, y'all coming in it as equals. Not one is the head and one is not the head. Y'all coming in as equals. Now, submission should be for both the man and the woman. She should submit to him and he should submit to her. Shut up. It's not a, no one's going to say shut up. Shut up is disrespectful. So shut if up. you said, can you be quiet? That's different. If you said, can you let me talk? That's different. But if you say shut up, that's disrespectful. That's so, disrespectful. so the response is going to be as you coming off as disrespecting me, not saying us period, but even me, don't tell me to shut up. You tell me, be quiet. Hold on. Or oh, it depends on how you saying shut up. Like we told you, come on, babe, shut up. That's different. I know you joke, but if you just shut up, I'm paying the bills. No, nah, that's disrespectful. So, hold on, hold on. It shouldn't You're happen right. either right. way. So that's disrespectful, right? So why is it nine times out of ten women do that to men? Do what to men? <laughs> what do we do? Say nine shut times up. Out of ten, who are the most verbal abusive people in a relationship is women, not men. You right. It's in, in some and, instances, and it, it you're comes, right. And it comes to the point that men can't take that crap anymore. And that's when we get disrespectful back or vice versa. But nine times out of 10 is women being verbal, verbally abusive to a man coming at them at every little thing when they feel like. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm finish. not going to say Hold nine on. out of 10. Hold on. Let me that. finish. Let me finish. When they feel like they have that authority because they're paying some type of bills. But here's my thing, man. Right. <laughs> I was taught that anything with two heads is a monster. So how, I don't care if it is 50-50 on bills, but in the day and time we live in, uh, you here's the thing that I got to ask, all oh, you got dang on women, right? If y'all got it, if y'all are so dope by yourselves and so good by yourselves, and this is for men too, if y'all so dope, then what do, we, what do you need us for? Why do y'all want us? If we so trash... And we such a problem. And when y'all having to submit, and I'm not saying be a slave, y'all understand what we mean by submit. If submission is that hard for you, what do you want us for? Okay, hold on. And vice versa. This what is just a universal. Need y'all for? This is a universe. Okay, so you say it. What do you need a woman for? Okay. A like, companionship. I, I, no, 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 sex, no, no, no. You know, no, and all them other no, good things. No. Why? Because you can. No, mm -hmm. let me finish. <laughs> What I'm saying is this. You want to know what a man needs a woman for? Peace. Okay. That is the man's biggest thing ever in the world. It's women. You want to keep a man? Be his damn peace. Don't argue all the daggone time. Don't every time you got an issue or you got a problem, you and your feelings, you got something to say and say, oh my God, well, this is that. You don't never know. There ain't nobody got time for that. Yo, the more unpeaceful you going to be, the more unrally you be, when I got to come home after dealing with it in the world, nobody wants to come home to that. Okay. Right? Just like y'all don't want to come home to or, or deal with a man who's always, as you say, Grumpy, or I got an issue, or I got a problem, or a nigga who always run in the streets, right? Y'all don't want a nigga who always run the streets, always hanging out with his boys in the club, doing this. Why are you always in the club? Why are you always with your boy? Oh, hold on. Here's another one that's crazy to me that I don't understand, that don't make no logic to me. If a man is at home playing a damn video game, but he's home with your ass, and he's not out in the street, man, I'm a grown man. This is a grown conversation. This man and woman. It is what it is. This ain't whatever. Listen, they're grown. These people are grown. Ain't no kids up here, right? We grown, right? So let's have a grown conversation with some grown dag on language. It is what it is. We grown. We grown people here, right? So if a man is at home and his peace, and here's the crazy thing that y'all ain't realizing. That's where he finds his peace. And we're the video game? Yes. If a man, I'm not even, <laughs> and here's the crazy thing. I'm only saying that because I'm not even that type of dude. I don't even play video games, right? Mm -hmm. I have a console. I don't play video games like that. But I know a lot of cats who do. I know a lot of men who do. And women complain about that. But would you rather have your man at home playing that video game or out in the streets? Can I say something, please? And I'm going to stay calm. I'm not going to yell or anything. I don't think it's so much the fact of I know what it is. the video game. I just think that I, I just want. OK, let me say it like this. You could be in the same house and that person still be lonely. Because when you're in a, like you always say, women are emotional beings. 
So while we crave your touch and crave to feel because a man is, you know, <clears throat> keeps you safe and um you know you you like that feeling of being touched and hugged and she lives in overseas oh okay susan night, is overseas susan. she's our international one good night susan you have a good time you know it's nothing wrong with playing a video game but you have to balance it out there's nothing wrong with you going out and having fun with your friends you have to balance it out now me i think that what happens is we're not even gonna talk about me I'm going to say in general, what happens is when that person, because men do it too, men, you get mad. It's not just the women in the victim, the women getting mad at the men in the video games. Y'all get mad at the women on the phone or the women spending too much time doing this. So the women's it's a fact of that you're in a relationship with someone that you submit to and you're still lonely and it has nothing to do with your insecurities. It has everything to do with you giving your partner a hundred percent of you and you're feeling like you're only getting 40 to 30 percent of that person. That means when you're in a relationship, and you know that person, you know, you have people who likes to feel that that want to be touched, people that want to be caressed, people that like fit, you know, that that's part of their love language. You understand? It has nothing to do with them being insecure. So while we while y'all might be in the house together and you on the video game, now this ain't about Travis. I know how people do. What United Kingdom, that's it. Suzanne, I love you. While you know. You might be on a video game. We wake up 8 o'clock in the morning. We go to sleep 10 o'clock at night. But from 12 to 10, you're on the video game. Let's just say that. Or even vice versa. 12 to 10, I'm on the phone or on Facebook or this and this and that. And not giving you no attention at all. What's the purpose of being in a relationship if you don't, if that means you should be by yourself, if you don't require no physical attention, if you don't require no physical contact from your other being, then you need to be in a relationship by yourself. What's the purpose of being with someone if you can't get that love and affection? It's not that it's okay. So we're going to address that right now. Okay, so you're talking about you to be by yourself because if you don't require that physical attention all the time, because some of us don't need attention all the time. I'm not talking about attention, Travis. When I'm saying, but you know what I'm talking about. Stop, don't do that. It's not about someone requiring attention. Someone wants to be, you, you can feel lonely. Okay, I'm in a relationship. Now catch it, listen to what I say. I'm giving you 100% of me or at least 85 to 90%, and I'm getting 20 from you. Why am I only getting 20? Yes, you might pay bills. Yes, we might be good together business-wise, and we look good on paper relationship-wise, but there's no type of intimacy. That's what the person is missing. So while you making love to the video game, she or he is looking like, ding, that could be me. Why I can't get the same attention of video? Like you can make love to the video game. You can make love to your phone. You can make love to another person in the session, your music or whatever, but you leaving me out. We were made to have contact with each other. Okay. So if you not giving that person that that's when it becomes a problem with you, the man being on the video game because the woman is feeling neglected because she's not getting that attention that she's craving. Well, not atten- that physical no, contact, no, 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 not attention, but the physical contact that she's creating. There you go. Physical contact. And you feel that people don't need that. No, that's not no, that's no, not. No, no that's not. I you're not say, made up right. If you I'm feel not, that no, way. no, 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 no. I said some people are people don't establish before starting over, a relationship. Over they need overly uh, attention. Some people just need over attention. Facts, they do. That, 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 and so that's the other person's fault that you need that. No, I'm not it's, saying it's that. Other, I'm not finish. talking about the overly Let attentive. Let me finish. Let me finish. So it's the other person who got to fill that void for you. No, because if you overly attentive, if you need way extra than way, way, way extra, then you need to see what's in you. Now, I get the part that your mate is supposed to give you, but all of that is not the mate. That means you need to find out what what do you need to do for yourself? That's some self-love. That's some void missing. But you can't just be in a relationship with someone and have no contact with them. That makes room for that nigga to go out and cheat with somebody else or for her to go cheat with somebody else because she need that contact. 
What's the purpose of being in a relationship if you don't have contact? The shit to pay bills, nigga. We could all take care of ourselves. Take care of ourselves. We all got jobs or some type of income. We all know how to pay bills, so pay rent, don't, dress, so or what it was. Say we all. Well, we all should, and some of us don't do to whatever reasons. Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm not talking about people that's in a relationship so they can have somewhere to sleep. I'm talking about I'm, you, because that's an issue as well. But what I'm saying is the overly, because I used to be overly, mm. me, Yasmin, that's how I know. I needed extra, 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 extra attention. And I needed that tension because I was feeling a void because I still wasn't healed from my things of the past. I don't need overly attention anymore. I can go days and months without it. But do I still need it? Yes, but before I was one of them overly people. And when you are overly attention seeking person, it's because there's a void in you that you're trying to fix. But you as the other person, you can't feel that being on the game 24 hours at 20, 10, wait, 22 hours out of 24 hours a day is okay. That's impossible. That's not, a, that's just a number I threw out there. 20, that I, means no, you got two me hours. Say, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that's impossible what? for someone to feel that way, that they will feel that that's okay. Now, that's that's over the top. That's stupid. No, no. 10 hours out the day, you want to, you I'm got some people who come general, in, I, get on the game, the, and don't get You got to the tag on time frame to it. I'm just saying, <laughs> goodness <laughs> gracious, you're going. You people should know what they it. are getting in. No, but people change, free. Life changes. People and change and understand. life changes. So you could be in a relationship with someone free. Y'all talk in the beginning. In the beginning, y'all all, all lovey-dovey going out, doing this, doing that. It's on he on the game, you on the game. Everything could be wonderful. But five years down the road, five years, y'all two different people. Y'all not the same people y'all was when y'all met five years prior. You got to remember that. So as you change, you like different things. You're into different things. You want different things. Hmm. So therefore, now you have to see. Okay, I'm at this five year mark. I'm different. You're different. Are we still so, even still compatible? All right, I got a question real quick. Can we answer this Negro's question? We ain't even get to his question. For that was his question, wasn't it? No. He want to know what <laughs> should she do. That was not his goddamn question. Oh, <laughs> so sorry, we went, we went totally left. He said he give up. You told him don't give up. I, I I'm told, not. Listen, it, no, let's, Go let's, ahead. let's calm all this down. You, you, I don't think he should give up on women because right we all right not anyway. the same. Um, first of all, uh, brother. <sighs> Change where you're looking for these women at. Please don't be on Tinder in all them places if that's the case. <laughs> don't be swiping left or swiping right. Um, or change this, the type of woman or the caliber of woman you're looking for. Facts. All right. Um, I mean, listen, man, we, brother, uh, where the camera at? Right there. If he can see my eyes, brother, <laughs> I'm speaking to you through my eyes, brother. We know what time it is. Okay, so all I'm going to say to you, brother, is don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep hope alive, my brother. All right. You, there's one out there you're going to find. And and make sure you you looking in all, you know, what's this all? Whooping for nub in all the wrong places. Whooping for nub. Looking for love. I know. I did uh, Eddie Murphy. For but love. I know. <laughs> looking for love in all the wrong places. So you just need to find the right... You, I know it's hard too, brother, in this time and age where, you know, the boss bitch runs everything. Everybody wants to be, you know, getting to the bag. <laughs> you know, all the women are getting to the bag. Yeah, he is really you know, throwing shade I, at us. I'm not throwing shade at y'all. Are you one of them? No, we're just women. You're throwing it at us. I didn't, I didn't say that. Of course. I said in the age of. You're right, though. You're right. You know, you know. But get don't you think y'all created and leave? Don't you think y'all created the uh, boss? Can I? Ooh, no, I'm know. just saying it's just a question. Women, men up here, Brad, y'all. If y'all can answer, do, don't y'all think the nope. men had some type of like y'all cooked up the recipe for the boss? We cooked up the raw recipe, yeah. Because I believe if y'all was on y'all, if mm, anyway, we're gonna say that for another thing. No, 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 no. All right, no, so no, to the no, man. No, no, let me finish. No, uh, no, 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 no. Let me answer that because I already know where you're trying to go. I'm not going there. You ain't got to. I'm gonna go there. So, so it's our fault. I didn't say that. No, 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 no. Shh. 
we made the recipe, right? Yeah, yeah, because you're saying we no, 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 no. For how many years did women want equality in this country? I'm just asking, asking a, a real question. This is a real straight up and down question. How many years did women say they want equality in this country, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all fought for it. Y'all marched for it. Mm-hmm. Y'all got equality from us. We, y'all got equality in, mm-hmm. in, in a way. Y'all got equality. I'm not going to say it's all perfect. That we, mm-hmm. This United States ain't, is perfect in this country. We all know that, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all fought for equality, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all got the equality. Mm-hmm. To the point that it works out in y'all favor a lot more times. And then when it works out in y'all favor and we get pushed out of certain jobs that y'all get paid more to do. You understand? I And I'm a living witness to it. I used to do labor jobs all the time. Right. Breaking my goddamn bag, doing construction, all of that stuff, making way less money. Then a woman can sit at a computer doing a customer service job and make twice as much money as I was. Right? Okay. Right? But if back then, if I went to go fill out for that job, you think they're going to hire me or you? For what job? A customer. I'm trying to Customer service type jobs, computer type jobs, office type jobs. They hired black women, not black men. Y'all got paid more. And because y'all got paid more, a lot of y'all, I don't know, let me correct it. A lot of women, because you know you can't say y'all like she's not a woman, but a lot of women <laughs> look down on the blue collar man because he didn't make as much as them. Mm-hmm. Right? You right. And y'all said we get into the bag. So now I need to find a man that's on my level. But nine you times right. out of ten, Bags. but here's the thing: the men on your level don't give a damn that you make that type of money. They don't care. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you're still going to be a woman to them. They want a woman. They don't want an equal. They don't want someone that's on their same level because your money doesn't matter to a man who has money. So you run into them and you get with them and you realize that that is a shallow pool of men. It's not a lot of them in that percentage of men that have that type of money. So all of the women go after that same shallow pool of men. So you have twice as many women going after half as many men. Mm-hmm. That, what, 5% of men? And y'all all are messing with the same dudes. And you wonder why. Hey, why well, can't find a good man? Well, they are out there. They're just blue collar men who just don't make as much as you. But because he doesn't make as much as you and doesn't rock a, a suit or drive a Mercedes Benz, mm-hmm. he's not worth it to you. Mm, that's deep. And that's he can true, treat though. you better than any other man that has that money. Mm-hmm. But because you would feel like you're taking care of his. No, no, no. no. Here's, the, here's the kick. And look at me. But because you would feel like you're taking care of him because you make more money, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be able to respect them. Wow, that's deep. And that's real. That's facts. And that's the biggest issue that we have in this country between man and woman. Is that because y'all only respect the ones who have a bigger bag than you. That's it. If I don't have a bigger bag than you, you're not going to respect me on the same level. You ain't going to submit on the same level as a man with a bigger bag. You will allow a man with a bigger bag to do anything and everything he wants. Most women will, because at the Facts. end of the day, you're getting pampered and primped and getting every bag and pair of shoes and dropping whatever car you want. But on the inside, you empty as fuck. Mm. So you can have the dollars, you can have all of that, and and you know you can be somewhat happy or feel like you're happy, but you know you're not. But that's why. So we didn't create it. We gave you what you asked for. And when you got what you asked for, you look down on us. All righty. So the last question. Of today, so to the men, I understand everything you said and what you said was exactly. It's truth. I'm, I'm not even I don't have anything to combat with that because that's true. It, it has happened that way. And that's why a lot of people are going through the things they're going through and a lot of relationships are going through what they're going through. And a lot of men that has that high bag, they do whatever they want. They cheat, they beat you, they cheat, they do whatever they want. And we stay 
I said we because I am yeah. a woman because we don't want to lose that Gucci, Louis Vuitton, the Rose Royce, yeah, the Cadillac. The we don't want to lose the lifestyle. We don't want to, you know, we but don't want to look stupid either. But, 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 pride here, to but here's, here's the crazy thing. You can get with a man who makes less than you. I'm not saying he got to be a nigga at McDonald's or nothing like that. But you all know what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. a man who makes a decent amount of money, but he just makes less than you. Do you know if you got with that man and y'all put your money together and here's the whole 50 50 aspect of it, like you said. Y'all want 50 50. Yeah, some of y'all men now want 50 50. Y'all want a woman to submit. But if you make more money than me and we're coming together as one, and I'm still supposed to be the head, mm -hmm. if you can't respect that, then what's the point? I mean, that's true. I didn't say we shouldn't. I, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying in rebuttal to what you were saying earlier about how men want 50 50 it's not that we want it it's just that the way the economy is and how life works at times it, it, we don't it have a choice that way. we yeah. don't have a choice it's going to take two of us to come together to live us a, a halfway decent lifestyle you right so if that's the case ah uh, because that's the case i don't i shouldn't garner the same respect as a man who pays 100 percent of the bills yeah Mm. Well, I, me personally, I think respect everyone should give. Frida and said she. <laughs> I think everyone should give and get respect. Oh, I don't care what you're making. <laughs> and, and if you choose to deal with someone that make less than you, make the best out of it. I've never been that type of person that because you make less than me, I'm going to run you, disrespect you, run you down. That's not me. Anybody who ever been in a relationship with me and either didn't have a job or made less to me, you know, I don't, I don't do that. I still treat you like the king that you are until you do me dirty. Then that's when mm. you become somebody else, a bite. Then that's when I got to show you. Nah, but all jokes aside, I, I, I still treat you like the king that you are. I don't believe because you never know that person that's making less than you, if you push them. If you push them and you you know encourage right. them in a couple of years, they'll be making way they'll be they'll double that. You understand? Give them something to look forward to. Give them that push. They might not never had encouragement. They might not never thought that they can go beyond, you know, go above what they already getting. So that's that. Now we go into the last question. Yeah, because I'm tired and I need a drink. And we've been up here. Hours. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm you sorry. don't come on this show doing that. Okay. No, don't don't disrespect the truth tellers and me. Pumpkin you are a guest. Me. I'm looking at the truth on tell. truth serum. Yeah, act accordingly, All please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now I know I just said that because it's true serum, but y'all don't be thinking I run him because I do not, Same honey. Song. He's a whole different ball game. All right. Let's get, let's get to the last okay, question. so before we get to the last question, let me let y'all know something. This um. This month, March, the third Sunday, again, we are going out to the community. You ain't got to put it up there, babe, if you can't go to. Yeah. Hey. We're going out into the community because and we are serving job. the community. We serving them with um food, food. and pr Travis. With the community, please. <laughs> please help us with the community. Travis, stop. We're serving them food. Yeah. We're giving them supplies that they need, Um, hygiene supplies. Um, gloves, masks, sanitizer, socks, you know, um, it's getting hot now. T-shirts, draw. We do need to get some yeah, drawers. Get some drawers cause... Yeah, so we, we're gonna add that in there, drawers yeah. this time. Drawers. But we don't know how many women. It's not that many women. Drawers. Gotta get them some drawers. So you guys go ahead and donate dollar sign Yasmin Campbell for the cash app, Yasmin Denise at Gmail for the Zell. Um, <clears throat> if you have any Items. That, I can't, you I'm my sorry, water. man. I'm sorry because you dropped my water. Yeah, but I'm sorry because I, I, I can just imagine, man. Ain't nothing worse than a pair of dirty drawers, son. You gotta walk around exactly. with dirty drawers. Like I don't like that. I don't yeah. like dirty drawers, son. Don't try to play the way I talk. You're <laughs> yeah. trying to play my accent really now. Guys, like, yes, I'm you just, are. I just don't like dirty so, drawers. So you know, if you guys want to donate, hey, buy a pack. If you out of state and want to donate, you can always. Go online, order it, and get it delivered. Or it, inbox me hey, and say, buddy. 
<laughs> inbox me and we can get it. You know, you can order it and I can pick it up at the Walmart family dot whatever near me. Draws, but son. We, stop it, Travis. Travis, <laughs> stop it. This is serious. I'm sorry, you're right. It is serious. Dude, so we are some stuff. We do need to get them some stuff though. Exactly. We so we're trying to get underwear, you know, socks. Um, so toothbrush, toothpaste, more masks, more sanitizer because there's still things going around out there, other than you know, um, Corona, Amaracron, or whatever it is out there, whichever one is out there now, you know, due to the changing of the weather, it's raining, they out there in the rain. I want to get some of them the ring, you know, get them ring the ponchos. The ponchos. I want to get a yeah, bunch of ponchos yeah. for them because they out there in that rain, y'all. <laughs> Laying down sleeping so. This third um, Sunday in March, uh, I'm not this, but the third Mm -hmm. Sunday of every month, we hit the streets of Dallas. And now we have a new location. So not only are we going to be hitting Dallas, we're going to be hitting McKinney as well. McKinney, Texas. There's a spot back there and they need help as well. Where are you um, pointing to? They can't see where you're pointing. I'm pointing like they can see me pointing down the street. McKinney. You stupid, I know. Why are you pointing you know, I can't take this. is a serious comment, Travis. Well, be serious. Then. Anyway, so I love you too. So, you know, McKinney, look, I'm still pointing like they can see Jeez. McKinney, Texas. McKinney, Texas, we're trying to um, um, help them with their clothing situation and food situation. So, you guys can go ahead and donate. You can purchase it, send it to us. You can purchase it. We can pick it up. You can send monetary gifts to Yasmin, dollar sign Yasmin Campbell, Cash App, or you can sell it to Yasmin Denise at gmail.com. Now, just to let you guys know, when you make your donations, it goes to our treasurer. We do not touch the donations. The treasurer will get the donations and then we will go with the treasurer. We turn in our receipts and everything for those who are wondering. Travis. I'm sorry. I'm just so... We need to get him some drugs. Travis, I'm about to kick you off this show. This is not the time. Why would you do that at a time like this? I'm sorry. This is a serious time. I'm sorry. If you wasn't my husband, I swear I would kick you off the show right now. Well, you can't kick me off of something that I set up. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I know. This is know. not the time to do that. <sighs> I'm, I, Vaughn, I'm so again, hey. if you can donate, please donate. Travis is just, I don't know what's wrong. This is why he's not my guest a lot of times. And I know you guys are wanting to see him. What's up, Vaughn? But he just does stuff like this at the wrong time. Now to the third, Travis, you hungry? I know, right? He <laughs> act like he shouldn't be, though. He shouldn't be. Nah, I'm not hungry. I'm, I'm just tired. I'm sleepy, to be honest with y'all. I'm ready to go, like, to go relax. Travis. Up. Hold up, man. Nah. Third question is from a, a, a woman. Now we had another question. The last question. Well, don't make it last. It says, what is this says? ties really into what the guy said, but it's oh, just coming from God. the female. She said, I'm confused. What is he confused about? Back in the day, they said a woman's place is at home cooking, cleaning. Mm-hmm. The man is supposed to work and take care of the house. Did they? Nowadays, women are saying we're supposed to be independent. Uh-huh. And nowadays, the men are staying home and don't wow. want to work. Wow. I'm confused. Why am I wow. confused? Because whether I stay home, go to work, <laughs> whether I stay home or go to work, he finds a way to cheat. Oh. Am I supposed to be superwoman, work, pay bills, cook, clean, etc.? Maybe a man isn't for me anymore. Well, go after the woman. What's good, Vaughn? Uh... Uh, well, maybe she would. You know, I will what freeze some Kool Aid. Yes, Jesus. I'm sorry, Travis. Y'all. I got to get back to the show. Um, well, okay. So she's she's dealing with the issue of that. Okay, so maybe you just need to be alone. Be what alone? If you're doing it all on your own anyway, and you're unhappy, maybe your happiness is what you really need. I think niggas is just don't understand the value of peace and happiness. And you know what it is? The biggest issue that a lot of people have, right? They're worried about what everybody else thinks. Hold on. I'm still mad at you. You don't ever, ever do that when we're trying to get donations to help people. 
You literally laughed and said draws. 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 Hey, the, my man Vaughn said it's the wrong man, maybe. And and you know what? I said the same thing. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do what, woman? You now know? you can finish. I'm trying to get hey, don't don't do now. You don't do that. <laughs> maybe she need to get in with the dude from the last question. Hey, maybe hey, you I never don't know. know. Nope, that would be toxic. Why would you say that's toxic? Both of them got issues, trust issues with each other. He has an issue with a woman being overly demanding and commanding and overly masculine and she's dealing with having to be that right now and dealing with trust issues of him cheating that she didn't work. say she was that i that listen to what i'm saying wait but you're wrong i said she's having to be that type of female if she's saying she has to go to work no she's she didn't working say, that's and not he what she said find, she's asking the question she said i'm confused do i need she didn't say she did she's asking if that's what she needs to do does she need to do what, Denise? She said her question was she's confused. Back in the day, it was this uh -huh. way. Now they saying it's this way. Uh -huh. She's saying she's confused because she don't know whether she should stay home or should she become super because he finds a way to cheat whether she stay home or he stay home. So evidently she's in a relationship and he's cheating. It's regardless. Still and work. then she's saying Am I supposed to be superwoman man? Should she go to work, pay the bills, do this and do that? Is that going to stop her from cheating? That's what she's saying. She know the answer to that damn question. Why are we playing these games with people? Maybe she doesn't know the answer. That's why she's no, asking. she does know the answer. She just wants somebody else to answer. Man, let's stop this damn games, okay? Yo, All right, here's the thing. You just asked us a question and answered your own question in the daggone, in the question, all right? Shit. Do I want, if I if I stay home, should I be superwoman and go to work, pay the bill? You already said, regardless, he's going to find a way to cheat. You know the answer. You answered your own question, Right? <laughs> And a lot of times, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I know to you, it made me feel like I'm coming off rude, but I'm coming off you direct. You are. No, no, I'm trying to be direct because here's the thing. A lot of times we have the answer to our own questions. I understand that, but it's, oh, it's, it's how no, you're no. saying it. We ha you have the answer to your own question, Thank you. right? You have it. You answered your own question within the question. You know the answer. Why are you playing the game with yourself? What it is, is you want somebody else to confirm it for you of something that you already know. You have something called woman's intuition. And, I, and at this point, obviously, you don't even need it. So obviously, you have the evidence of him doing it. So what is the why are you asking us the question to that you already have the answer to? Lady, you have the answer. You said he's going to find a way to cheat regardless. So you think if you become superwoman and pay all the bills and go to work and do all of this, that's going to stop? You already said, no, he's not. You're thinking if you stay home and you don't, you just be the housewife and do all that. You already answered that question. You said he's not. Either way, he's going to find a way to cheat. So it's up to you what you want to do. What are you going to do? How are you going to handle it? You have your, you are the only person who has your life destiny at, in your hand. Nobody has it but you. You control that. Okay. You, you can make yourself happy by ending that situation. Okay. And don't worry about how everybody else views it. Well, she was mad and she had the voice and he was doing all that. Forget all that, man. You, you, life is too short to be unhappy and whatever it is and, and, and have to deal with something just to be dealing with it, just to save face. Okay. So let me say this. That's what I'm being. Your question, you, you asked a question and then you said, maybe a man isn't for me. Frida said something that made a lot of sense. Sometimes people are scared to be alone. I think that's what the problem is. I think, yes, you do know he's no, whoever you're in the relationship with is not good for you. Because you already said he finds a way to cheat. So you do know the answer. But at the same time, you're, you're, what you're needing help with is, I know I can do this on my own. But I don't want to be alone. So that means there's something inside of you. You understand what I'm saying? There's something inside of you. You need to fall in love with yourself. Before you can fall in love with anybody, you have to fall in love with yourself. So I think you might need to take a break from relationships. Because let me tell you this. You said maybe a man isn't for you anymore. So that means you're going to date the same sex, a woman, right? <laughs> you're grown, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. But what I am going to tell you is the same issues. If the... You, 
the same issues you had with a man, you're going to have with a woman. So what I'm going to say is take some time out and find you, love you, and deal with the inner you. And then after you deal with that, then try to go out and find the match that you're looking for. Because don't think it's going to change whether you move to a different city, a different state, a different partner. It will follow you. So I'm going to say take some time out for yourself and begin to love yourself and begin to know yourself. And once you're done with that, let God fill the voids that you're having. Excuse me, y'all. I'm having some type of reflux. Let God fill those voids that you're having so you won't look for men or women to fill those voids. And then once that happens, then you're ready to go out and meet who you need to meet, whether it's man or woman. I'm not going to tell you who you should date. I'm not going to pull no Bible verses saying what's right and what's wrong. It's your choice. You are grown. Like Travis said, life is too short. And whatever is going to make you happy is going to make you happy. But first, you have to get to your own happiness before anyone else can make you happy. And I hope I said that correctly. You did. That was awesome. Okay. So if there's anyone else that um has anything to say, that was the last question. And that is, I don't have anything to say towards that question. Travis doesn't have anything. We're not even going to ask Travis. Um, Why if he has any, me? because you just yelled at the lady well, and she's probably sad. You, lady. I'm sorry for yelling at you. That's why I don't do this. I'm not, a, I'm not a counselor. I'm a... I know you, we, uh, I get that. You have to be you though. Being right. you is not wrong. No, but we're I, opposites when it comes to this. Well, so therefore it's a good thing because people get your perspective and they get my perspective. Yeah. But I, like you said, I don't want to come off as, you know, that person who just, you know, like you said, I yell, you know, screaming them a little too direct. The way about, about delivery <laughs> it's not what it. you say. It's, it's how it's you how said it. it. That's what I was about to say. By delivery of everything, just be a little too, too raw sometimes. But sometimes some people need that. Yeah, some people, but then, you I'm, know, I'm some people made, need I'm not made for some know, people need to hear stuff. it like that because some people not gonna understand when you're talking to them like this because they probably heard it like this a thousand times. Yeah, wow. Well, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people need a good sh shake. Lady, out, all I can say you know? to you is, man, I wish you the best. I hope I hope the best for you. Um, only you can prevent forest fires. And right now, I feel like that forest fire is blazing in your home, and you're the only one who can prevent it mm. from going any further. And we're going to leave it at that. But you have a good night, man. Um, I hope you get some type of uh, understanding and clarification from this uh, from this situation. You um, you definitely are in a bit of a conundrum within yourself. And it ain't even got nothing to do with the man at this point. Because you know the answer is just you having to be okay with you making that decision for you. Mm -hmm. And the key word in all of this is you. Exactly. So without further ado, I would like to thank you all. Thank you. For tuning in. Make sure you go like and still share the video. They can catch the replay right. again if you would like to donate again. It's the draw, the third, son. It's the third Sunday. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they do these two draws. It's the third Sunday of every month. Sorry. And we are taking that because I don't play when it comes to that. That's serious, Travis. Playing. There's I'm people out there in need. Right. And they need draws. Oh, my gosh. Thank you all for tuning in again. I appreciate you. We will be back. Um, I don't want to say next Saturday. I think it's the Saturday oh. after next. Yeah. After next yeah. Saturday, not next Saturday, but Saturday after that, because we did it this week because it's every other week now. So I appreciate you guys. I love you. You have a great night and we're out. Peace. Y'all have a good one, man. We're going to get on. Man. Well, I can't do that. Where is it at? There, there. All right. Good night. Draw, son.